Hey, what's going on, guys? So, uh, our player in the red just milled a Lumina and Chaos Sorcerer when he ended his turn with Jane. Uh, so, this duel is going to be between our player in blue. I think this is I'm in love. I'm it, I'm love, top clear mind. Uh, here in the blue at 1010 10 versus Delta Excel Synchron here in the red at 1106. So, uh, I mean, Light Swords did get a boost uh, from the last list. Um, but, I mean, obviously the ban list doesn't take into effect uh, until later on. But, uh, I mean, when our player in blue summons a Gwai button attack mode, um, it usually means that they have, like, a shrink or something as a back row. And a random space comes out. Oh, Torrential Tribute? Okay. Um, Torrential's another card that went to, uh, two in the, uh, ban list, but, uh, it's not taken, uh, into effect yet. Ooh, a zombie! So, possibly we're seeing some zombie light swarms, which is interesting. Um, I've seen some people use it. I mean, you get to use Plug Spreader multiple times, and a dimensional prison comes out, but... I, ooh, I don't know if I agree with that, uh, unless he has, like, another D prison. Uh, the other card should be probably Shrink or something. Um, yeah. Because that's why he would summon the uh, Drac in attack mode. Uh, perhaps that or a Forbidden Lance also could have been another option. Ooh, a million A Mizuki is good. But uh, the thing is, I really think that you should Dimensional Prison the Light Swarms. Um, I mean, I'm not sure if he's playing Light Swarms with Zombies or Zombies with a few Light Swarm cards. But uh, generally, it looks like he's playing uh, Light Swarm, especially if he's playing Lumina. Um, but yeah, I'd rather banish the Light Swarm because when you banish the Light Swarm, they don't get to mill. Plus, they lose the name of the Light Swarm, and that essentially would hurt them the most. Um, but let's see um, what ends up happening here. Oh, he's checking his graveyard. Um, who's gonna remove a dark and a light? I mean, BLS would be okay here. I'm not sure if Chaos Sorcerer is the best option. And a Book of Moon immediately comes out. Um, I mean, regardless, uh, I think I might have booked Jane just so it couldn't, um, get the, uh, oh, okay. Well, I guess if you wanted to save that, uh, card over here, uh, what is that one? Evil Tile Westlow. Um, but it is a level 3, and it isn't even a dinosaur. Um, so that means no Lagia. Um, but perhaps um, he can special another Westlow. That's pretty interesting. Because uh, then he can exceed, which isn't bad. Uh, let's see what he goes out. He goes and gets Serato. Huh. But yeah, realistically, I mean, Jane runs it over anyways because it gets the boost. But perhaps, like, if you did want to attempt to save it if it had 21 defense yeah it would work but um I don't know if that's that great to dark hole on that yeah that seems a little bit questionable for me personally um yeah oh he gets to uh The, yeah, uh, the the blue player in the blue, um, Serato only adds uh, if it destroys an opponent's card. Oh yeah, by battle. So yeah, otherwise that effect would be a lot better. I mean, it is still a 19 beater, so it's not bad. Plus, it does a dinosaur. Oh, so fossil dig comes out of our player in the blue, so he's. Going to be searching out for probably um, Drat Guayba, and the face down card from a red player is probably going to be Raiko, that's my guess. Um, obviously, because, you know, our player in the red should know that uh, players play Guayba and they will attack face down cards. And, uh, I mean, unless it's Genesis Lightsworn Render, which no one runs. It's probably Raiko, though. Oh, no, it was Plugs for. Ooh, and that could actually hurt. And our player in the blue could actually get field control right now because uh, he can now make a Lagia as long as he doesn't have th other cards that he could add uh, already in his hand. But it uh, looks like he's probably going to be making a Lagia or a Dolka wouldn't be bad either against a Light Swarm player though. Um, yeah, but I think Lagia would be better that way. Um, if he doesn't have any back row, he can still at least negate the Judgment Dragon. Um, but let's see what our player in the red does. 
Because stacking for Plague Spreader wouldn't be the best option. Um, obviously, because anything Synchro's for would be negated. Ooh, a special summon of uh, Plague Spreader here. Um, special summon Plague Spreader in set one. I, questionable on my end, I think. Uh, and, and what happened to our player in the blue MSA? I guess he wants to save his uh, materials. But yeah, I, I, I believe that was not the best play. I guess you could block an attack, but it doesn't seem worth it. I mean, unless he's setting up for like a Levier play or Return from the Different Dimension, which would be a great card. You know, summon Aaron. Um, see if he negates this. Um, so Aaron gets summoned, and he's just going to end. And I guess our player in the red just wants to know. Ooh, a reasoning in Light Summer. That's an interesting choice. Um, I thought it was okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, you get to mill. Anytime when you get to mill and light sworn, it's good. But uh, yeah. but the thing is, most people will call level four, and that's essentially all of the decent light sworns. I mean, Illumina is great too. Uh, don't get me wrong, but I mean, it also is at two now, so reason could be an option to uh, play in light sworn. I guess just for some extra speed. Uh, but the thing is, like, if you hit a Raiko, oh, yeah, it's supposed to win Raiko. Not the greatest thing to get out. Um, so he's checking his opponent's graveyard. Uh, Monster Reborn. And uh, he can Reborn Chaos Sorcerer because it was special summoned properly. And um, Lajia would be negating Monster Reborn. Um, and then now, if he has J Judgment Dragon, no? I don't know how many lights when he has um, in the graveyard at the moment. Because he did remove Lumina. Huh. So yeah, I really think that Plug Spreader play definitely was not the best thing to go for. Uh, let's see what he ends up doing. Ooh, a Foolish Burial comes out perhaps. To get a Wolf and Tribute for Celestia would be a great play right now. Let's see if he ends up going for that. Um, I don't know anything Foolish other than perhaps maybe a Light Sworn, just for some extra names. If he happens to have Judgment Dragon in his hand. Oh, he's sending Glow Up Bulb. So I guess you can uh, block an attack with Glow Bulb. That's not a bad thing to do because uh, um, after Lodge attacks, you would only have 400. So realistically, anything that our player in blue would summon would make a game. He's going to special summon uh, Glow Up Bulb and just end the turn. Okay, interesting. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess you can block an attack, but yeah. <laughs> what, what card is this? I have not seen this card. Card Car D. Um, it says it can't be special summoned during main phase one. If this card was normal summoned, you contribute to draw two cards and end your phase. Wow. What? That that card is amazing. Uh, I've never seen this card. It might be an OCG exclusive or something, but that card's not that bad. I mean, for any like type of Exodia decks. Oh, wow. That is pretty darn good. That's just an auto plus one. I mean, it's not bad. Oh, wow. I don't know if that was worth it. But how can our player in the blue have that many cards and not want to set anything? That's just, that's just kind of strange, at least. Or maybe he just happened to be drawing into all those monsters. So... Uh, so synchroing up with uh, Goblin Zombie, nets him a Zombie Master. And yeah, I don't understand the point of... I mean, I know he got a plus off of it, but... I don't know. I mean, yeah, you just have to end your turn, so... But that card just seems really good. I mean, and then Dark Coal comes out of our player in the blue. Let's see what he ends up making. Uh, ooh, a, another evil tile monster I've not seen. Odonto. Oh, wow, you can spell something. Like that. And then go for Lagia. Uh, <laughs> but I think going for... Uh, oh, there's an, another effect over here that's activated. Uh, Volcano. So uh, when it's special somebody, you can target one. Evil tile monster in your graveyard. Okay, so that... Oh, that monster can't declare an attack. I hope he realizes that... Um, Yes, our player in the red realizes that, uh, and yeah, so he could have made a Lagia, and 
And, uh, yeah. So a player in the blue is just playing Data Spurs, and he's running a strange variant. Uh, it's just, like, evil tiles. And he's probably going to make a Lagia, because that's what they like to go for. Um, although, Dolka is really good at Flight Swarm, just because he can just be like, oh, you milk cards? No. Um, I mean, he's already used Dark Hole. Uh, but both players, it doesn't seem like they're going for the best plays. That Plague Spreader play just didn't really make sense. Uh, I mean, why Plague Spreader and just end your turn with a back row that you can't use against uh, Lagia? I mean, if it was like something like Phoenix Chain, he was able to, like, Veiler or, like, do something, I think it'd be worth it, but, yeah, um... The thing with playing like mixed stuff in Light Swarms, I feel like it's not as consistent. Um, and I think that that is the right play. Uh, obviously, let Zombie Master be summoned, and then Zombie Master can uh, send a card to the graveyard and get out another card, and essentially just wait until your opponent, you know, decides to go for an Exceed or Synchro up. Ooh, can't even have Dark Round. I'm not sure how many Darks our player has in the graveyard, but I definitely think. Our player has too many darks, otherwise he would have tried to get out uh, Dark Arm Dragon um, after, you know, going for some exceed. Because if our player in the uh, red made like a Utopia, um, I'm pretty sure Laji would just negate that, and then our player could just drop the Dark Arm Dragon. Um, so he's checking his graveyard. Uh, Goblin Zombie, I believe, is the uh, target he has in the graveyard. Uh, or another Zombie Master, perhaps. But realistically, it won't do much. Oh, Zombie Master in defense mode. Um, interesting. Um, and he's gonna activate that zombie master's effect. It's, ooh, he's gonna send a judgment dragon. Kind of like the best card. <laughs> um, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure he does not have all the light sword targets, and that's perhaps why. Um, and I think just uh, I mean, you can get rid of the Lagia attachments. I mean, you're gonna need to do it eventually. And that's not the best play. Okay, so if you guys would look at it. I would say the best play would be use Zombie Master and attack over this uh, Odonto here, and then Minion Phase 2 go for a Utopia. That way, the player in the blue would not have that other uh, Evoltile on the field. Perhaps uh, later on he's going to be able to use it to Synchro up or, or make Gotcha Gotcha, yeah, actually. Ooh, and uh, ooh, you can't special any. It's no restrictions on it, so that's pretty extreme. Um, so, uh, Terrius, uh, loses 500 attack. <coughs> so, uh, that's gonna be game. But as you guys can see, both players definitely made some plays that were not the best. Um, yeah, like that, that Plex player play was really questionable. Same with some of the plays that the blue player was doing, it just didn't really make any sense. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes White Dragon, signing out.